we've got a few videos to look at for DJ. I think we've got like three or four. We've got clips of certain videos, and then we have a full, a full breakdown from Reversal GG with Tyrant. Let's take a look, you know. <clears throat> You guys will have to pardon me. Like I said, I do feel a little sick. My nose is kind of stuffed up. And I have like the world's worst sore throat right now. Video but I could not stream. HQ. Series veteran DJ makes his return in Street Fighter 6, bringing some of his OG flair as well as some new tricks. But will he remain as lackluster as he was in his last Street Fighter outing? Yeah, he was very lackluster in 4. DJ is traditionally a space control and tricky rushdown hybrid charge character, and it feels like they got his style and personality down perfectly. The first thing I like to do when testing a legacy character is see if some of their classic moves and combos remain, and they most certainly do here. It's worth mentioning that DJ is now a charge and motion hybrid character. That's the biggest thing. Let's talk about that real quick. Uh, I could I could leave that until the very end for like a full discussion piece or something, but. A lot of what DJ sucked at in Street Fighter 4 was not having charge after getting cross ups or staying on the same side with like jumping knee shot or uh, walking forward after baiting a shimmy, like after shimmying someone, like baiting a throw or baiting a tech. And because of that, he would lose charge in situations where other characters would have a really solid punish, right? Uh, so they kind of mitigated that by making the moves that he's going to end his combos with no longer require charge, right? Like you don't really need to end your combo with air slasher or jackknife maximum, right? Those are very uh, specific moves, right? One is a space control projectile and the other one is your anti-air. Right? That, that makes sense. Makes total sense that those are locked behind charge. This character would probably be uh, closer to a Shoto if he didn't have those, right? Like if his jackknife maximum was just a normal like DP kick, and then Air Slasher was like quarter circle forward punch. He'd be he'd feel more like a Shoto. But uh, his light attacks have feints. And Rolling Sobot, he has two. He has quick Rolling Sobot, which is a one kick, and it knocks down. And then he has double Rolling Sobot, which is the heavy, and it keeps him standing. It's probably pretty plus for a mix-up or something. Those are now quarter circles. Same thing with his... Um, Machine Gun Upper, it's also a quarter circle, which means that if there was ever instances where in old games you couldn't end your combos with certain things like a Rolling Sobot or a uh, Machine Gun Uppercut, now you can because you don't need charge for them. These are going to be really, really good if DJ has a single target combo that is special cancelable. If none of his target combos are special cancelable and he has one that's like super cancelable, I know that for sure. He has one that he can combo to super arts, but I don't know if he can also combo it into specials, right? He has anything coming to special that's gonna be really good, but he doesn't seem to really need it because of the fact that he doesn't need a string that grants him inherent charge. That was something that I always thought in Street Fighter 4 that he was missing. Just a target combo that was long enough that he would get charge from the target combo. Instead, they just said, fuck all that noise, let's just make his moves that didn't ever really need to be charged, no longer need charge. With some of his classic charge moves, like his air slash fireball and jack Mike maximum up kicks remaining as before while his Sabat Dread Kicks now are a quarter circle forward and kick input. His Machine Gun Upper is also a quarter circle back and punch, with unfortunately no mashing this time to get extra hits. I like pressing buttons. That's a lot of damage. Something the Capcom really honed in on here with DJ is his trickery and feints, with the light version of all the specials I tested being fake versions of the actual moves. Great for baiting out your opponent and mixing them into oblivion. You can use his light up kicks, for example, as an alternative jump, coming down with the button to catch your opponent and sleep at the wheel. A brand new tool for DJ is his just cool. Sway I think the sway move, seems really sick too. Back and kick input. The best way I can describe this is an auto shimmy with multiple follow-ups. Light kick is a low attack, usable in combos or to check your opponent. Medium kick is an overhead, and heavy kick is a launching kick which can anti-air or start juggles. He also has movement option follow-ups too. To be done early to anti-air, absolutely hype. With projectile yes, sir. Then How you doing, back Buffalo? And punch during that will retreat keeping DJ at a safe distance from his opponent. A whole host of unique attack. So that I saw him do something that looked like an anti -air earlier, and I don't know how he did it. A whole it. host of unique during forward and punch lunging. Oh, Judd's Cool does have a, yeah. So Judd's Cool uh, EX punch is actually an anti -air. You guys saw that up in the top corner? Uh, he'll do it during one of the videos that we looked at already, or that I looked at already, and then I'll show you guys. But people were like, oh, well, now he only has good anti-airs when he has charge. 
And they even fixed that where you don't actually need charge to have a good end here because A, you have a target combo that air tears, and I think they'll maybe show it off in this or one of the other videos will show it off. But also his just cool, his quarter circle back kick. If you exit, he does a little uppercut first, right? And you can do that little uppercut and a, a maximum strike. And then after that, combo into one of the rolling Sobots, right? To give yourself like a little nice, cool mini anti-air combo, which is pretty sick. I saw one of these, with forward and punch and these do it. So we'll see when it comes up. See, that's just cool EX. Pressing back and punch during that will retreat, keeping DJ at a safe distance from his opponent. A whole host of unique attacks and target combos rounds out his moveset. Yeah, there's knee shot, top of the list sunrise heal. Jumping down light kick. Okay, so sunrise heal is... Um, knee shot. Sunrise Heal is an axe kick with long reach that allows you to move first, even if it's blocked. They don't say if this is specifically an overhead or not, but it very much so looks like one. If this is a plus on block overhead, that's also plus enough on hit, which I think it is, to combo into a light, that's really fucked up. <laughs> gonna throw that out there now. important tool he's had since 93. I know my good friend and longtime DJ player, Sai, is happy to see that. His level one super is a single big hit, and we've seen it crumple opponents. And it's like plus 35 or something, plus 32. Footage. His level 2 super is very unique and turns SF6 into a rhythm game almost. When I first saw this move in his trailer, I noticed the musical notes and I thought... I you don't have to do the musical like notes stuff, by the way. Game. It's it optional. That's exactly what it is, as you must input the follow-ups. It's not must, it's you can. If you input them with the best follow-ups, you actually get more get damage. I the full thing with the limited time I had, but I can't wait to practice this when the game comes out. His level 3 looks similar to his Ultra 2 from SF4, with DJ turning up the heat and juggling his opponent. Overall, DJ feels fresh yet familiar, with a real identity in his tricks and feints. Unfortunately, like you can no longer juggle after, um, I, by up, I mean, after uh, Machine Gun Upper, but that's fine. Tons more exclusive Street Fighter 6 oh, he still has that. Into the he still has double Machine Gun Upper. Locked in. I'm sorry, double up kick. More exclusive Street Fighter yeah. 6 content is coming to the channel, guys. So stay locked into Reversal and subscribe for plenty more videos. All right, that one was short. Good and sweet, kind of just the breakdown of the character. We got to look at all the moves and see them. Not really think about anything other than the fact that those moves exist. Now, uh, the next most informational one, I think, is actually Nephew's. Nephew's video was really good. Uh, he, he looked at a bunch of characters, and he kind of talked about what they could do. And hey, I think that... DJ. I think his DJ... Yeah, his his DJ He's got the air slashers. Breakdown is pretty the light good. one is a fake... He's got the jack knife maximum, the DP. The light one for that is also a fake. I was sitting next to Sejam and he was talking about like the light one goes up and then you can hit a jump in afterwards was what he was saying. So that's kind of a crazy mix up option for him to have. Then he has um, the Sobot kicks. So he has the light one. That one is also a fake. Um, this one, the medium one actually hits. And then the double Sobot with the heavy. And the double Sobot the leaves him standing, one. right? It says, unleash two fierce spinning kicks. It's high damage, so it makes it a potent way to finish combos. It also leaves them standing, which might, if it's hits, plus enough, lead to, like, loops or mix-ups or things where explosion. your opponent has to just, like, Machine guess uppercut. Combo. Then this is the sway option. He has a couple of things that he can do out of it. He does this low. He does a... Is this an overhead? Yes, an overhead. This one's just a strike. And then he also has a dash. Um, which we did see in the gameplay, but he has well, a dash you back as well. Hit yeah, so you can dash in, dash back oh, to paint, get the just shimmy. Hit him. So I was trying to do it here. You have to um, do it forward and then back. So you do the dust dash, forward punch, and then forward back for for the uh, actual back sway. So you're gonna be able I think to make one of those is uh, pretty, projectile pretty good good right here. I think it's and EX way that like you can get that fierce for the shimmy. I, I was trying to test out to see what buttons would reach, and that definitely seems like having an auto shimmy seems right really there. cool. Right, because throws are pretty punishable in Street Fighter Six. So say you have like an auto shimmy like that, right? So you would faint someone. They they grab. Yeah, we know you are. They grab, you auto shimmy them with the forward and the back back sway, and then you punish it with heavy punch punish counter. You could probably get like standing medium kick, crouching medium punch, like Sobot or something, or machine gun upper. That's really good. It seems like a shimmy setup right there. Even he said it. And tested out a couple more of his normals, went back into the command list, and these super arts are crazy. I went, I wanted to see what this, this level two super was about. You have to hit 
all of those attacks in the right order to finish the super. It's actually not as intimidating as it looks. You basically have a light, medium, heavy version of it. And then to do the combo, you just do light, medium, heavy, light, medium, heavy. And it does a combo. And uh, Seijian was saying that you can stop it in the middle and continue your combo, actually. Instead of going for the finisher. Um, also, I'm not actually sure how to do the finisher. Because um, like I was trying to do it. Um, in the training mode, but I couldn't actually land it. But there are finishers on them if you want to go for it. But if not, you can end it in the middle. And I'm guessing you can probably spend some EX meter to get some even more damage than you could off of these. Or maybe go into the level 1 super, actually. And then this is the level 3 super. He just punches you up and like goes like uh, into you. All right, then here are his normals. Knee shot, his down light kick from Street Fighter 4. Has an overhead. Oh, like a that might feel is an overhead. Yeah, use back heavy kick, three peak combo. So that might not be special counselable. If if three if three beat combo is special counselable, that's the one that I'm referring to. That would have been really good in Street Fighter Four, but would probably still be a really nice target combo to have in a game like this, where uh, there's so many things you can do in between. Like you can parry after di, use a special move. You can kind of use this like bait your opponent out and make them think twice about pressing after the button, knowing that usually it's going to be punishable. Uh, most of the target combos are right there. The DJ special. This one can only be canceled into super arts, unfortunately. Uh, so this is like the easiest confirmed bread and butter to get yourself like a free level one, which is pretty cool, I guess. Leaves you kind of close. The DJ special, the funky dance. Like I'm not, I'm not about to remember all these funky dance faint. You do a fake one and then go for a grab. Okay. Got See, and then he's got heavy. an aerial. He's got an aerial target dance combo. Faint. Here. Look at this. You do a fake one and then medium. Punch into heavy punch in the you air. Go for a grab. Okay. Got a medium punch, heavy punch. He's got speedy maracas. This one actually builds your super art gauge for as long as the commanded grab is held. Um, and I just wanted to keep it going a little bit, see if it would ever end. I don't think it ever ends because um, I just held it for like maybe 20 seconds and he just started repeating lines. Um, but this is a kind of cool move. I'm not That's sure hilarious. how much super meter it I don't know. I don't know if this is going to matter. I didn't want to take the time to turn off the super meter um but you know just a cool move that he has probably not going to be useful because you're not going to be able to just charge that up people are going to drive rush at you uh, yeah that's cool what i'm that saying you're that. definitely not gonna be able to get I that actually managed free. to get a cpu level 7 match of the dj and the lily so we'll go in there and you know talk about what we see just a little bit he already did it is my camera in the way did you guys see that in there and, you guys see that? You know, talk about what we see. This is just sway and here. Just a little boom. A bit. Ooh, boom. The EX and then rolling so well. Look how much damage that was. You can maybe do it during stun. Yeah, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Get a little bit of free meter during a stun before you start up a combo. That was a really cool anti and that doesn't require charge. Sick. To the combo. Nice combo from there. The target combo. Look for a throw. Throw tech. Jump heavy kick punish counter from the lily. Went for a command grab. The EX just sway again into the double so back kick. That's so much damage. Forward throw does it. This I'm not lily blocking that is either. getting washed. All right, so lily has that sweep right there. You guys see that? Standing medium so kick lily into jab that combo. That was standing right medium kick into jab into sobot for a knockdown. Go from the DJ. I'm guessing medium kick into light punch. Correct. Uh -huh. And that was punish counter, jump in heavy, crouching heavy punch, crouching medium punch, Sobot. Uh, jump in fierce into crouch medium punch. Uh -huh. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah. Jump in fierce into so he does seem to be mostly like, links, right? At least the way the CPU is playing them. But the it, like, it definitely don't seem too hard to get. In there. Look at that damage. Man. If they had EX that they, they the won the game. There, by fireball the way. And All they have to do is EX. In there. Look at that damage, man. That's kind of crazy damage. And damn, Lily just got washed. You didn't really see much of her. And I think that's the end of DJ. Uh, pretty cool outro from DJ. Does like the signing of the camera thing. All right, next up. Yeah, it's gonna show Dalton next, which I don't really care to look at. So another good, another good little segment of DJ footage showing off that he's got a lot of good stuff even through not having charge because he doesn't need to constantly have charge for his inners anymore. Hey, what's up, Moonspire? He doesn't need to constantly have charge for his inners anymore, which really, really helped his character kind of take over that tricky style. 
that mid ranginess that they wanted him to be able to hold while also still being a charge character in some facets. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's look at this small amount of DJ footage from Sejam, from Lord Sejam himself, one of the greatest uh, fighting game content creators we have right now. Probably the most fun character I training mode in the game. Uh, look at that. Yeah. Was that standing DJ heavy punch? Probably the most fun medium kick? I training in the game. That was standing heavy punch light kick into Sobot. Uh, he has fakes on all of his lights that are not machine gun upper. So even his anti. And then that was crouching medium punch off dry brush into crouching fierce punch machine gun upper. Uh, he has fakes on this all CPU is doing all the shit that we get upper. to see. That's so really cool. Anti -air, the up kicks that he does, the light version, he like zips in the air and then you can do jump attacks out of it, which I don't think I've seen anywhere. It's really cool. I'm a big fan of it. Um, his standing medium kick is a really good poke. You can combo after it. His standing heavy punch felt really great. All of his moves just feel great. And his this is a set pretty much right after Marissa's cool second, right? I don't know. Game. I just looked for DJ. Well, I'm not worried about Marissa. It has a rhythm to it. It's like a deadly rave. So you, you have to hit time all the hits. And there's three different versions. One that starts with light punch, one with medium punch, one with heavy punch. And the rhythm mechanic makes you get like a special follow-up and stuff. It's really cool. I had a lot of fun messing with it. And everybody I talked with there, I was like, hey, did you get the rhythm? Ooh, thing that, that was sick. I had a lot of fun messing Look with it. Look at that. And everybody Crouching I fierce talked after with there, this. That that part doesn't matter. Crouching fierce. I was like, hey, Crouching hey, medium. Get the level one. Thing down. I was level like, two. Dude, I could not. It was like really tough. This is the super. And you notice there's no like symbols above him or anything. That means he's not hitting the. Uh, uh, and that was the target combo I'm referring to. Medium punch, medium, medium punch, heavy punch, heavy kick, and then you can target combo after. That was really fast. That wasn't a, there, there wasn't a lot of like big stuff in here, but there was a lot of combos in here that we can kind of infer. That's Dalsum. So it was right after Dalsum, I guess. He has fakes on all of his lights that are not machine gun upper. So even his anti Yeah, we can definitely see, and he's doing giant chunks off like little two and three hit confirms. Look at that. That's so much damage off little two and three hit confirms. I'm a big fan of it. He could have killed there. Um, standing medium kick if only really the cool. CPU knew. Anywhere. So after this, boom, really cool. boom. He could have right here, instead of doing a, jab, done medium punch, EX Soba, cool. and that would have killed. Instead of jab. DJ should have had more of a Jamaican voice. He sounds more like a Toronto man's. I don't know what the fuck a Toronto man sounds like. So I'll just have to take your word for it. And then just, the CPU is going ham with these the fucking jabs. Look at that. Which Level eight CPU new, but that's currently G fourteen classified. Yeah, they're not uh, they're not allowed to show off all the dastardly shit that level eight CPUs I don't can think do. I've seen anywhere. It's really boom cool. boom, and then that would have been crouching medium EX robot or EX machine gun, and it would have killed. I'm a big fan of it. Um, his standing medium kick is a really good poke. You can combo after it. His standing the thing is, he's already done the combo really once, great. so the, the CPU his... knows it. I can show you the CPU Feels did it right here. He has... So DJ is probably the most fun character I training mode in the game. Uh, he has the CPU's already done it. On all of his He's gonna do crouching, so crouching fierce somewhere over here. Kicks that he does. The light version, he like zips in the air, and then you can do jump attacks. He, out yeah, of he the already way. knows that you can do medium anywhere. punch into jackknife. Really cool. I mean, into it. machine gun upper, but he just um, didn't do it. Standing there. medium kick is a really good poke. You can combo after it. His standing heavy punch felt really great. All of his moves just feel great, and his level two super is one of the coolest supers. Yeah, imagine getting game punished game. by a throw and dying. That's tough. Level two super has a rhythm to it. It's like a deadly rave. So you, you have to hit time all the hits and there's three different versions one that starts with light punch one with medium punch one with heavy punch and the rhythm mechanic makes you get like a special follow-up and stuff it's really cool i had a lot of fun messing with it and everybody i talked with there i was like hey there's the crouching the fierce yeah so crouching fierce right here and everybody i talked boom with there, crouching fierce like, hey, crouching medium down and they're like into level two but like, that could have also just super. been jackknife and you notice there's uh, no, that could have like, also been machine gun upper or rolling so bad. EX especially, I would have just killed. Uh, rhythm alongside of it. So. That was his level one super. He confirmed off a target combo, so you saw level one and level two right there. That there was significantly less meat there, but that CPU did a lot of like very normal looking bread and butter combos that might be good for the beginning of uh for the beginning of DJ's development, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not mad about it. We learned some stuff. We learned. All right, let's look at. A full video from Justin. I think Justin has, yeah, Justin Wong has like an 11 minute video. Wait, what's down down this? Whoa, he could build. I think bar? he shows how, how much actually, meter he oh, Look, oh, yo, not. and the lights come out of nowhere. 
That's crazy. DJ is godlike. What is up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we're back to the Street Fighter 6 content. And guess who we are going to review today? We are going to check out DJ. He has changed a lot. He has his own identity. He's not a Gaio clone anymore. And we have some CPU level 7 matches with DJ. So if you guys want to see the action, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and let's get into the video. So this is footage from Mr. Kizzy K. I'm curious what DJ, but look, he just grooving. So he has like this buttons right here, low jab, stand jabs, that stand strong. Whoa, Down did we strong. accidentally just see this some friend right here, low jab. His, I'm curious what DJ, his, uh, but look, he just grooving. We just saw so some friend has, like, His crouching jab is four for, is five frames. Like this buttons right his standing jab is four right frames. Here, low jab, stand jab. His cr his standing medium is seven that frames. Stand strong. His sta his crouching medium is six frames. Crouch strong. What is that? Is that machine gun upper? Machine gun upper is fifteen frames. Ooh, what is that? Is that stand fierce? Oh, that's his feint. So one cool thing is that he has faint fireballs now. So obviously he's a hybrid. So he's not a charge fully a charge character anymore. He's a hybrid, like kind of like Chung Li, where um he, his fireballs are charged but his faint i believe that was a crouching medium kick no or was that crouching like pretty like kind of like chun li where i um, probably crouching like his right? fireballs are charged but his faint Ooh, I, yeah crouching like kick five frames i believe is like standing like kick also five frames. fireball punch or coral circle back punch so as fast as normal is a standing jab at four frames just one of those buttons nine frames for his super fast advancing fierce punch Did you guys see that that was fierce punch that shit charged, that shit goes so far forward look at this shit like, Fireball punch or coral circle back punch is one of those what buttons. What? what the fuck? That shit goes. That shit goes so far, dude. Nine frames and that shit goes that uh, far. That looks like a, a plus. Stand it? fear plus four, which means you can combo jab after it. At the right ranges, you're gonna be able to go standing first into jab. Nice. It's right there. They even changes like. Wow, there's ranges machine with gun plus, punches. Machine plus gun punches five? also. Plus uh, that looks like a stand fierce right there. They even changes like machine. There is ranges punch. where it's up to plus six. His machine okay. gun punch is also a motion now um, as well. So and then eight frames on his sweep. His sweep is actually crouching medium kick. Ball kick is also a motion. 30 frames of, of uh, plus frames if it hits. Now, kind of like how Chung Li's like lightning legs is pretty much a motion. See, like that's that's definitely a motion. Whoa. Now, kind of like how Chung Li's like lightning legs is. Oh, that's much really emotion. See, like that's that's definitely a motion, which is pretty cool. Uh, he also, oh, I didn't even know he has a kick feint, right? Um, so the only two charge moves that he has, not sure about supers, is uh, fireball and flash Plus kick. Two. Flash kick move that he has. So standing, sure media, standing heavy Sobot, like not hitting them like anti air with it, because anti air it should knock down. It always has, and I'm, I'm sure that that's something that they're going to keep in mind, making it so that like if you get like a nice juggle air to air, I'm sorry, juggle anti air, you can knock down with something like double sobot uh but if you land it ground to ground for both players then it looks like it's going to be plus two on normal hit that's pretty good that's not bad supers is uh fire yeah plus fire two ball. with a four frame jab not bad and, and like decent range too like dj's uh standing jab doesn't look and like it's super short flash kick flash kick is still a flash kick motion but he just looks amazing look at that 16 hits and that was definitely not charged right there crowd looks whoa amazing. i want to see how Look much how plus that, that was the crouching that was a plus the crouching fierce. Not charged. plus six so you can actually link crouching fierce into crouching medium punch even on normal hit it's tight but it's, it's six frames and six frames you have, you have you have no extra time to do it but you can link those two together that's pretty cool I think at that point you might just go for like standing light kick just because you have one more frame to I'm sorry, yeah, standing light kick because you have one more frame to work with and it's also special cancelable. Right there. Crowd strong. I think that's low fierce. I feel like DJs might be a problem. Wow, does EX fireball possibly juggle right there? Uh oh, okay. EX machine gun punch doesn't give you a juggle. Plus 23. It gives you kind of like that animation type of move going on. You could tell DJ is I feel like he might be a very popular character in terms Ooh, of like six. maybe meta. Because he just looks like he has a sauce. Yeah, minus six. Uh he's not kind of restricted. Plus ten? Wait, what? Did that just say light like sobot is plus ten? Because he just look, looks like he has a sauce. Uh, uh he, he's not that just said light sobot is plus 10. That's got to be wrong, right? I'm sorry, medium sobot. That's got to be wrong, right? What? Kind of restricted to kind of like charge moves 
say anything like that anymore. Nope, he said it twice. Or he has like a bunch of feints to kind of cause like feints in the throw seem really like, cool. Possible like you know attacks, right? Possible mix mix ups. Attacks minus right six there. that time. I really like yeah, the minus fact six that, that time. because like when you think about Gao in this game, Gao obviously has the Gao loop combos that you guys see, but he's definitely more straightforward and play more like a defensive character like from like previous time, right? Well, DJ I'm sorry, did that say plus more two? Forward and play more like a defensive Three EX character like from like previous time, right? No, that's well, DJ is definitely for... more of like a I like has has definitely. I mean, he's old school. He's been from Street Fighter 2, but he has more of a modern take for sure. I think he just yeah, he, he just looks so solid right here. I feel like DJ is going to have a lot of like interesting combos and even the sway stance is just interesting because that will that's pretty much an auto shimmy, right? It's kind of like yeah, so like is, loops, that was exactly uh, what I was thinking. Two, like, it's very five, much like an a auto shimmy, shimmy attempt. Like, auto, like, it's literally a shimmy V skill. What it's was that move that was plus five? Where it's like a shimmy attempt. Like, auto. Was that standing me like medium loops, punch? Uh, v skill two and three, four, five, where it's like a shimmy attempt. Yeah, standing medium is actually uh, plus five, which means that you can link jab off of it. Like wow. Auto, like, it's literally a shimmy V skill. It's kind of similar in that regards because he could do faint and then cancel into something afterwards. Oh, his drive rush kind of kind of bad though. Medium, heavy, heavy. So roll through feint, fireball, light kick, quick roll. Let's see, quick rolling soul ball, fireball, medium kick, double rolling. So okay, so he doesn't have a light soul ball then. Yeah, yeah he doesn't okay, have a light so soul ball or a light. light okay. um, so, that, so his medium is like his first light air His slasher. first uh, soul ball. The light one is is a feint. Machine gun upper is backwards with punch, which is interesting because it used to be a flash kick with punch. But now this crazy part, he has level one super, but he also has like. Three level two supers, which is like, I guess, rhythm supers. So you have to press the button in like a specific order, kind of like a geese, ra like deadly rave type of situation right here. And then that will give you, I guess, the damage output or maybe Oki output. It must be activated but by pressing the buttons in the correct order. Okay, it doesn't crazy. say with perfect One, timing. So yeah, you can just press them in the right DJ order. is really about the music. But so as, the game, long the fact as, as long as you press them, you'll get it. Uh, if you press them in the right order, but you don't have to go for the timing version if you just want the damage and want to cash out. That's pretty neat. They gave him a rhythm thing. That's amazing. I think the climatic strike is probably the ender of each of one of these. Wait, what's down down this? Whoa, he could build bar? That's actually old. Look, yo, and the lights come out of nowhere? That's crazy. DJ is godlike. He's so sick. 200, and he's six foot. And it 203 says singing, pounds, I'm so skinny. DJ I'm likes so to skinny. sing, dance, and holler. <laughs> the most funniest thing in the world to me. All right, let me see what you got. Ooh, right away? Yo. Was that thing in the world to standing me. Right, me fierce off dry rush? That was crouching fierce Ooh. off dry rush. Right away. It, that was crouching fierce punish counter off dry rush. Standing fierce. Uh, Machine Wait. gun upper. Wow, that's a lot of fucking damage. Ryu is also 180 pounds, supposedly. Dude, oh, these motherfuckers are meaty. Right away? Meaty ass motherfuckers. That did mad. That was cool. Was that crouching jab, crouching jab, um, drive rush, standing jab, so oh. Right away? That did mad. It was. Mad. Oh my god, DJ? He just and then let's see what this is. That what was did that? mad. Crouching jab counter hit. Oh my. Crouching medium link because it's counter hit. God. Into machine gun up. DJ? He just came in swinging hot. Uh. Okay, nice. Using the EX flash kick at the knockdown. I'm nine? She's really right tall. Fireballs. That's crazy. It's just two hit fireballs, but there's no chip damage in the game unless, unless you're exhausted, so it's not too bad, right? Oh, oh missed the combo. Probably did the, the heavy strength. Wow. Forward down. Uh, was that forward heavy kick? That's an anti-air. Uh, well, this round might be over. Nope. Wait, 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 Nah, DJ is actually ridiculous, bro. I I hope DJ is top tier because he's just jamming. Oh uh, yeah, that's why I thought just kind of like do do drive back into the fireballs. Oh yeah, that's why I thought drive just rush just like, yeah, that that thought, drive just, rush standing jab. Kind of like do do drive impact and yeah, that was drive rush standing jab counter hit. So probably like plus four more. But this is normally like plus six on counter hit. It's plus eight. 
and then crouching fierce, which is eight frames. So Fireball. that makes sense. Balls, right? But nothing after. It, that it's, really does help. That might just be a CPU error. Oh, nice. I'm guessing that wow, that really combo. does combo. Oh. Overhead into Ooh, jab nice. without dry brush. That, wow. That's... Overhead into jab without dry brush. Jab, that's a combo. That's oh, oh, okay. I was like, let me see the combos. Hit him the max out. Okay, that's the fourth row. Fourth row, you don't get like too much Oki, which is fine, I guess, right? Oh, ooh. Yeah, definitely you could get something off of that. Wow, reactions. Hooked. Ooh, okay, let me see what happens. Oki, here. which is fine, I guess, right? Oh. Oh, you don't get like too is much that crouching Oki, medium? which is fine, I guess, right? Yeah, crouching medium into ex just just cool just sway whatever it's called just be cool sway oh ooh. and then doesn't do heavy sobot here heavy rolling ooh. sobot is the ender yeah definitely get something off of that wow reactions ai reactions of course ai reactions bro mm, signed autograph that's the sonic fox bro and there's ooh, the air to air combo nice air target combos i think i feel like almost everybody has air target combos I'm sorry, what? Oh, that didn't fully combo. Air target combos. What I happened here? I... Triple jab. I feel like all... drive rush. Almost every... Double jab. Everybody has. No, one jab into crouching it's medium. Air... And then they, uh, this is Justin playing, I think, right? Or whoever's playing, they do the wrong machine gun upper. They do heavy. Air combos. So they get okay. counted. Yeah, that was heavy machine gun upper, but it didn't combo. Medium should have comboed, or maybe even rolling Sobot. So that is a combo going like uh, crouching jab, crouching jab on counter hit, uh, drive rush, crouching jab, crouching medium into an ender. Just lit to appeal to the current engine. True. 16 hit combo right there. Crouching medium kick. Uh. Uh. Forward throw. Bro, that fireball is nasty, bro. Yo, that's so fast. DJ Wow, swaying out of the like, pressure. Cancel into a bun is mad. Oh, fast. no, I think he's dead. Oh, yep. my God. Ooh. Okay, what was that? Though? So that was that was crouching fierce, crouching medium, level oh one. Oh, my okay. God. Ooh. Off of, uh, off of drive impact. Good bro, time. hit him with the Shawn. It's kind of like the Shawn Michaels chin music at that point. Oh, you bro. take chip damage there. F. Hit him with the chin music. DJ might be the coolest character in this game. Like, look how fast this is. He's a come on. Nice. That's nice combo, Kizzy. This yeah. is. He's a come mm. on. And then nice. does medium. That's nice. Yeah, that combo, does combo. Kizzy. That was oh, nice. This is Kizzy playing. Okay. Oh, slam dunk. Don't jump at me, though. Nice. Flash kick. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I win the fireball war. That's Ooh, what he counter. Says. Yep. Oh, no. Dropped it. Oh, my God. I like the faint, though. Cancel the faint is actually kind of sick. Bro, he really react. Computer really react to that. Oh, you're dead. Oh my god. god. DJ is cooking, bro. This computer so fucking mean. Manon. They both. These are both dancers. Damn, right away. Ooh. Yeah, we seen we seen some Manon this, already this right CP from like Manon versus JP. Let's see if if Manon is undefeated. Let's see if DJ can stop her. I don't know, man. This command. Already mm, level three command grab. Command Make that level four. Grabbed, oh. Ooh. Come, bro, she did three, two of them, and she was about to do something else. Okay, slam dunk. We saw that. Oh, uh, nah, nah, nah. So it doesn't tell I'm you when you die to chip. It, the, it doesn't need to. What the fuck? Why does it matter? Point? Because you burned out, bitch. Like you're dead. The commentary. Who if you say like some you of the value move names that she does, it would be kind of hype, though. You know what I mean? Uh. It shouldn't. It shouldn't tell you. It shouldn't matter. Yeah, nowhere. You got burned out. You should just get a B for being a bitch. Okay. I mean, B for burnout. Oh, okay. Let me see a computer. Boom, boom, uh, boom, uh, boom, look at that. Boom, look at, boom, mm, boom. Mm, mm. And then the ender. Uh, okay. That's the heavy kick version. So that means he did the heavy punch version of the level two super. Oh, time to guess. Level four. Got the fourth one. Time to guess. Ooh. Level three? No, we're going to get the oh, level five. They don't five. know what I was mashing. True. We want the level five grab. What did Chip okay, regular grab? Kills do to you? Oh my god. Level five does so much damage. Bro, she just scooped me. You. Nothing. I'm not upset about Chip kills. I just don't think you you need to know that Chip killed you when you're in fucking nice. burnout. Uh. 
care. You're in bur you Go burned out. You you deserve to oh, die. Drive, see, drive impact through the fireballs. I mean, that was a right away reactions. That was AI reading Ooh, AI. Wow, what an right? anti! Drive Look at the anti button. The fireballs. I that mean, that really was good a right away button. That's back heavy kick. Boom. That was AI reading AI. Nice hand tire. What? That command guard range was away fucked reactions. up. Did you guys see that? Look at this. That was AI reading AI. Hey, look at nice Range. Nice the spectators Antire. don't need what me. you died. You lost. Oh my gosh, the dude in the 360 in real life. Oh my god, bro, she is just grabbing. Yeah, because he just didn't block. Don't, do, don't but, grab again. You know, okay. either way, it shouldn't you matter. To give her five grabs right away. I already could see the YouTube videos that I would play with my known. Like, I would just troll so hard, just command grab all day. Come on, DJ. Let me see what you got. I really think DJ's pretty hey, sick. Dang, That move is sick. That anti is sick. I really think DJ's pretty sick, though. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like yeah. That. Let's go, DJ. Let me see the combo. Uh, machine gun punch. You don't sure, get a probably could have done like a crouching though, medium right? or yeah, crouching heavy first, but fair enough. But I'm pretty sure you can special cancel. Oh, wow, you three? can special cancel that. Uh, uh. Uh, and you can, so you can special cancel that into Bro, level two because it's, it's EX and you have so much time to special cancel it. Oh my God. Damn him kick. Poke, poke all day. Don't get hit by the level three. You don't. Uh, speaking of level oh, three. You might be dead. No, that's, no, level, that's two. level two. I thought that was level three. I was about to be like, you might be dead. Okay. Okay, mix. Nice DJ. Mix, okay, that's mix. A down. <gasps> that's oh. what I mean. This is what happens if you try to press out here. Yes, okay. I love that. The the standing medium kick here as counter nice. hit gives you enough frames DJ. to get a crouching medium okay, again that's... and then loop into another Sobot standing again. Oh now you're in the the blender. We got loops? Yeah, see? He said it too. He got it. Little set play loops. There's right a lot there. of way out of there's a lot of ways out of the blender in this game, but that is still like sort of like a grinder stuff. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy, AI. You got it. And there you have I it. That up, was uh, the I'd DJ be so pretty much showcase. Really big shout out to Capcom for letting like a lot of the creators out I'd be on pissed. YouTube and you know content creators <laughs> on F from FG. That wasn't even level three, that was level three just broke the armor. Well the latest build is Street Fighter Six. Let me know what, what do you think about DJ. I really think he's he looks really good. Like he looks like he could be potential part of the meta of the game. Probably the hardest thing you have to learn is probably the timing of the what is this? Of like what is this emo shooter. by the way? But even then, like they really made him much like a hybrid. Like, is that yours? Like, less charge moves. And I know a lot of people are not the best at charge. I feel like a lot of times people are like, oh man, he's a charge character. I'm so bad at charge characters. Well, I mean, he's half. He's half and half. Kind of like Chun Li, right? Um, how 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 she is. So if you guys did enjoy, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell so notification, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh Peace. yeah. We got through all the DJ stuff. Yeah, DJ used to have the big issue in Street Fighter 4 of if you didn't have charge, basically your enders just didn't matter. It didn't matter what the fuck you were doing. It didn't matter what you wanted to do. If you, if you couldn't guarantee charge, you basically didn't have a good ender outside of crouching medium kick to just knock down and try to go for those same like standing resets they were doing there, right? But instead of standing resets, you were getting hard knockdowns, which is kind of nice for things like the jumping knee shot and like cross up medium kick, things like that. But I do think that this DJ looks overall way more well-rounded and more refined because there was a lot of things that just back in the day did never needed to be charged. None of his special moves other than his guile functions are charged and none of his supers are charged, which I think is really, really sick. Uh, I'm going to blow my nose real quick. You guys enjoyed the Street Fighter 6 character select theme music because this shit is actually kind of bumping. Hold on, let me turn it up. Here we go. Left the state to go sneeze, huh? No, I just have to I just have to go to my restroom. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, there was a few characters on the roster, especially some of the older characters that I think look really cool now compared to what they used to do. Uh, I think Blanca looks really different than he used to look. Same thing with DJ. And Cammy looks she looks like a mix of like older Cammy and like they're trying to try something new too. And I really like that. I think that's a pretty dope way to like bring back the legacy characters while not having them feel exactly the same as they used to, but keeping them somewhat familiar, right? That's probably a good thing for the longevity of Street Fighter. Because if these 
World War, is it the original eight or whatever, stayed exactly the same for fucking 30 years now. Street Fighter would have died a long time ago. So they did a really good job making these characters feel like evolutions of their previous selves. Um, as far as I can tell from everyone so far, for the better, right? I think that this is the best I've seen DJ look since Super Turbo. And that's a good thing because Street Fighter 4 DJ was just not, it was not it, right? We didn't get another retry. We didn't get a retry in Street Fighter 5. So we don't know what they could have done to make them different. But it really feels as if they took that time off to refine the way they wanted DJ's function to work and the way they thought his kit would be more cohesive as a half a a half a a half a charge or a hybrid charge character same thing with a character like Blanca these characters probably never needed to be full charge ever uh, and I think they were really really held back by it and now you're just gonna have a chance to shine I'm, I'm happy a lot of the stuff that they're showing here when it comes to their his uh, like normal links he could have used those things in Street Fighter 4 if I'm quite honest a lot of those look like those would have granted inherent charge and given him more time to get charged during combos instead of just giving him a target combo that gave him charge which i think is also would, would have also been a pretty easy and simple solution to his problems uh, just giving him like two target combos that basically grant inherit down or back charge uh, in the time that it takes to do the, the target combo but it also makes the character feel significantly less linear i'm sorry significantly more linear that way than it would be to just have really really strong mid-range tools that can link into his other buttons that you can use to get charged all of his crouching buttons like the crouching uh, medium punch the, the jab the crouching media the crouching fierce like all these moves are very very strong and they really seem like they were trying to create a cohesive kit that didn't need charge but you could still find good hit confirms and good counter hit combos and even normal hit links it looks like it looks like this is this is going to be a good street fighter game right there was a lot of things about street fighter 4 that i didn't like there's a lot of things about street fighter 5 that i was a little iffy on right i didn't like how every character basically played the same game with their normals for the most part or at least from what i could tell right i didn't super duper get into street fighter 5 so i can't talk too much but during the early days of street fighter 5 it really looked like most characters were like they had like one normal they were playing with and that one normal was plus and you would just do it and you walk back and forth with it over and over until you got the hit with it uh, or you were losing and you would v trigger and you would still use that same normal and you special cancel into something really stupid you know, V-Triggers. But now it looks like they're trying to really push the, the limits of what these characters can do while, out, while not also being absolutely broken. Because if we looked at all that DJ stuff, he was doing things that looked like Command Normal should be called Abnormal? Sure. <laughs> Other than his overhead, which I hope that's not actually an overhead. Other than his overhead normal hit comboing in, into his standing light kick, he didn't inherently seem like he was doing anything super unfair. Weirds? Yeah, weirds. Not normal. Weirds. Other than that, I don't think he was doing anything inherently unfair, right? I think that maybe, just maybe, if that makes it into the finished build of the game, I'm going to rinse people with it. I'm not going to lie to you. You better be fucking blocking overhead at all points of time. Because if you're not, you're getting fucking overhead into jab into Sobot. It's plus two. I'm doing it again. It's plus two. I'm doing it again. It's plus two. I'm doing it again. I don't give a, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm <laughs> So that might be a little over the top, a little overbearing, but they do want him to somewhat be some sort of a mix-up character so it makes sense. Um, and I could like talk about DJ all fucking day. I'm so excited for how he looks now because it really seems like they made him feel like more of a complete character. Like he's not just missing a bunch of shit randomly. That just felt like oversight. It didn't even really feel like the character was bad because they wanted him to be in Street Fighter 4. It felt like it was all just a bunch of oversights that they never fucking fixed. <laughs> So I'm pretty happy about the way DJ seems to be turning out, uh, at least from the early footage that we can see. Even if he's not good, he seems complete. And that's something I can say about every character we've seen so far. Is even if they don't seem good, right? I'm not sure if Ken's going to be good. I'm not sure if Jamie's going to be good. I'm not sure if Dengief is going to be good. But they look like complete characters, and I really, really like that. I'm, I'm glad to see that. And, uh, of course, I've been trying to keep up with uploading to YouTube doing talk segments and react videos and all that stuff. I'm pretty bad at it, but if uh, you enjoyed the talk segment for YouTube, looking at DJ's new moves uh, across a few videos from other content creators, 
drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, tell me what character you're super duper excited for for Street Fighter 6, or if you're just full on ready for these 28 days to be over so we can get our hands on the Street Fighter 6 ourselves as well. Anyway, this has been Beanie Thuggish for the YouTube, signing out and saying peace.